Hey guys, I'm here to do a different kind of video today. I want to go through the previews catalog which came out this past Wednesday. I'm going to limit myself to just ongoing things that, ongoing books and interesting things are happening with or new titles that I'm looking forward to because if I wanted to do it sort of comprehensively talking about all the books that I'm picking up, I could be here forever. So I'm going to limit myself and I'm going to start with Marvel, the separate catalog, and then get into DC and the independent stuff. For some reason, if you're not into one of them, the timestamps will be down below so you can skip around. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so starting with the Marvels, the separate Marvels preview catalog, there's not a whole lot going on in here that I'm super looking forward to, um, but some things I still want to talk about. Starting with this Death of Wolverine miniseries that's going to be written by Charles Soule. It looks like the covers are going to be holographic, which... I mean, take that for what it is. It's not going to make me buy the book specifically. Um, the interior artwork is also sampled in here by Steve McNiven, I want to say, uh, written by Charles Soule. My hesitation with this book is because I'm not sure if Marvel's actually going to do anything long-lasting or worthwhile in terms of actually reading it. I don't know if it's going to have any impact on Wolverine going forward. So this is something that I'm not sure I'm going to pick up yet. But also, it's an issue because... They're, the first issue is $4.99 and the rest of them are $3.99. So, um, that's, and that's another thing I noticed in here from Marvel. A lot of $4.99 books coming out in, I don't, know when, I don't know when this is, September maybe. Um, a lot of $4.99 books. That's something to at least keep in mind going forward. Something that worries me a little bit. Um, as far as DC and independent things go, it looks like... Um, the prices aren't uh, quite going up yet. I mean, these, these $4.99 books are all oversized, but I still don't want to be forced to pay more money for more content, especially when I find that when books are larger, the content is also is sometimes uh, the quality is less because they have to pump more out. But anyway, another sort of event that's going on is this Edge of Spider-Verse um, miniseries 105, which I am completely staying away from. Um, Spider-Man Noir ret returning has uh, <laughs> I don't have any interest in that. Uh, but probably the thing that I'm most looking forward to out of this Marvel previews is all-new X-Men 32. This um, Miles Morales cover swipe of X-Men 139, which I have right next to me, um, with Kitty Pry joining the X-Men. Um, this is something that I'm really looking forward to, and I was speculating about this. I'm not, I wasn't sure if it was going to be 616 Miles or Ultimate Universe Miles, but reading what they say here in the description, it says... Dimension hopping is something of an X-Men rite of passage, and it's about time the all-new X-Men took the plunge. So that makes me leads me to believe that the all-new X-Men are going to jump over to the Ultimate Universe and meet um, Miles from the Ultimate Universe. So um, I'm really looking forward to that. Plus, Sarah Pacelli is back on artwork. Um, who she was doing the artwork on Ultimate Spider-Man when it first started, and I love. I love her artwork, so I'm really looking forward to this all-new X-Men 32. This will probably be a good jumping-on point if they're jumping over to another universe and starting another um, another story, but uh, that's really it for um, in terms of Marvel things coming out in September. And then we'll get into this, uh, the big previews book, starting with some DC stuff. There's not a whole lot of DC stuff in here because the they're doing the Future's End in September, and those were solicited in last month's previews, so... There's, they just mentioned that on the first page, but uh, this um, Batman Eternal at this point is going to be Stephanie Brown spoiler stuff going on. She's gonna be in costume and shit's gonna be going down. That has me really excited, but I'm not excited because on this uh, the solicitation page we have four separate artists uh, credited for four separate issues. So the the art hopping that we've been experiencing so far appears that it's going to be continuing. Um, this. Teen Titans Earth 1 that's advertised on the front, written by Jeff Lemire. I may check that out down the line, but not something that I'm going to pick up at, you know, I'm not, it's not something that I'm really excited for. Um, but this I am. This is Gotham City Sirens Book 1, The Trade. Uh, I was doing Gotham City Sirens in singles, and it's become really hard because of uh, how, hot, how hot Harley Quinn is. So I'm going to grab this trade. It is 320 pages, collects the first 13 issues of that series. I believe it was only collected in hardcover, and they are really hard to find. So definitely excited to grab that trade. And then there's one more thing in here. i got to find it. Um, I'm not going to buy this specifically, but it reminds me of something else I want to buy. This is the Harley Quinn um, Holiday Bombshell Statue. I believe... 
I think her bombshell statue is already out because this is a variant that comes out in December. Um, I'm not gonna. This this statue was absolutely fantastic, by the way, and I think there's gonna be a lot of people picking this up. But this reminded me to look into some of the other bombshell statues, and I think I'm gonna put in an order on the Zatanna one. Um, we'll see. I mean, it's it's a big it's a big chunk. But uh, I love the Zatanna bombshell cover, and I love the statue. So that's something that I'm I'm definitely gonna consider, even though I don't have a ton of statues. But um, so yeah, that's that's the DC stuff I'm looking forward to. And then finally, some independent stuff. Uh, not a ton, to be honest. There's usually a, a couple image books that I'm looking forward to, but the only one that has me sort of interested in is this. Roche Limit, I want to say, written by Michael Morrissey. Um, it's another sci-fi book, which at this point I'm going to be picking up a bunch with both Black Science and Rick Remender's Low going on at the time, so I'm not sure if I'm going to pick this up. Um, and there's nothing in this little preview, this little blurb, that has me super excited for it. Um, I can read it. Our destiny is the stars, and I will lead us there. Twenty years after this promise, billionaire Langford Scargard's dream of cosmic exploration is no more. Roche Limit, a colony, colony situated on the cusp of a mysterious energy anomaly, is a melting pot of crime and terrible secrets. When Becca Hudson goes missing, the search to find her will plunge her sister and a cadre of the colony's underworld figures into an odyssey that reveals a grim future for mankind. Um, the reason why I would pick this up is because I love sci-fi and there's not a ton in that little blurb that gets me excited for it. So this is something I may pick up if it's a small week. I mean, a 350 cover price um, makes me a little more likely to do so, but we'll see. One thing that I'm super looking forward to, and I think a lot of people share this, this is the, the new ongoing Sabrina book from Archie. Um, it's, I think I read that it's going to be like a, it's going to like lead into Afterlife with Archie, so we'll see about that. But two separate covers, this uh, die cut cover and then a cover swipe of Rosemary's Baby. I'm going to be getting both. And it's written by Roberto Aguirre Sacasa, who I think is the head dude at Archie Comics right now. So definitely looking forward to that. I mean, if you missed the boat on Afterlife with Archie and you're looking to sort of make up for it, I think Sabrina is the way to go. Um, and honestly, I think that might be it for the stuff that I have, um, the stuff that I have marked in here. Uh, other than that, uh, Halloween Comic Fest, uh, pick up Rachel Rising number one. And then I think in addition to Rachel Rising number one, there's going to be a Afterlife with Archie number one. So I'm going to be getting both of those, even though, um, I have Afterlife with Archie number one, uh, and I have Rachel Rising number one in trade. I want, I want the, uh. The Halloween Comic Fest version. So so that does it for previews, guys. Um, big thanks to you guys for watching. I'll try and keep these up going forward um, as previews continue to come out. But um, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys again soon.